Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 10, David and the Formation of a Nation. In this lecture, we delve into the reign of David, who succeeded Saul as the king of Israel. David's rule, as described in the second book of Samuel, played a significant role in shaping the identity of Israel as a nation. He achieved military victories, united a divided people, and established a long-lasting political dynasty. However, it is essential to look beyond the iconic image of David as a national symbol and understand him as an individual. David's Victories David was anointed as king in secret while Saul was still alive. Shortly thereafter, Saul died in battle against the Philistines, leading to a leadership crisis and a division within the country. The northern tribes believed Saul's son should succeed him, while the southern tribes supported David, who was also a southerner. The split resulted in the establishment of separate capitals, Mahanaim in the north and Hebron in the south, where David held his power base. The civil war between the northern tribes Israel and the southern tribes Judah persisted until Saul's Saul's son lost support and was killed, leaving a power vacuum. This prompted many in the north to turn to David as their leader. They united the country under David's kingship, ending the civil war and recognizing him as their king over a united nation. David's Challenge David's victory in the civil war presented him with a new leadership challenge. He had the opportunity to lead the nation towards a different future, but a question remained whether he would effectively seize that opportunity or squander it. David's initial step towards unification involved establishing a new capital city, Jerusalem, which was strategically located on the dividing line between north and south. David's forces successfully captured Jerusalem from the Jebusites, making it the political center of the country. As David desired Jerusalem to be the religious center as well, he decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant, a symbol of God's presence, to the city. A grand procession was organized, and the Ark was placed in a tent. Interpreting David's actions can be seen from two perspectives. One, that recognizes his devotion to God and his acknowledgement of a higher authority, and another that views it as an attempt to use religious rituals to support his own political agenda. David as the founder of a dynasty. In Second Book of Samuel, chapter 7, David settled comfortably in his palace in Jerusalem, expressed his desire to build a permanent house or temple for the Ark of the Covenant. However, the prophet Nathan conveyed God's message that he was pleased with the current arrangement and instead intended to build a dynasty for David. God promised that David's descendants would inherit his throne and through the Davidic dynasty, a kingdom would be established that would endure forever. Although God promised his support, David's flaws became evident throughout his reign. He was capable of infidelity and brutality and had to face the consequences of his personal failings. One notable incident was David's affair with Bathsheba, which involved adultery and murder. The prophet Nathan confronted David through a parable, leading David to acknowledge his wrongdoing. While forgiveness was granted, the consequences of David's actions continued into the next generation, as demonstrated by the violent pattern followed by his son Absalom. The Story of Absalom Absalom, like David, possessed ambition, ability, and the ability to gain public favor. 
he eventually garnered enough support to challenge David's kingship, starting in Hebron and later capturing Jerusalem. Absalom pursued David, intending to engage in a decisive battle. Beneath the political and military maneuvering, a personal conflict between David and his son Absalom unfolded, ultimately leading to tragic consequences. Understanding the complex dynamics of David's reign, including his triumphs, challenges, and personal struggles, is crucial in comprehending the role he played in the formation of the nation of Israel. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us for Episode 10, David and the Formation of a Nation. We've journeyed through the epic saga of King David, from the clandestine anointing to the unification of Israel his strategic victories, and the heart-wrenching tale of Absalom. David's legacy is not just a story of triumph, but also one of personal trial and national identity. As we ponder on David's complexities, his victories, and vulnerabilities, let us also anticipate the continuation of this intriguing exploration of the Bible as literature in our next episode. Stay with us for episode 11 where we'll unravel the paradoxical reign of Solomon, from his famed wisdom and wealth to the heavy contradictions of his rule. We'll dissect the complexities that make Solomon a figure of endless fascination and debate. Remember to view the detailed accounts of Solomon's reigns in 1 Kings before our next meetup. Bring your insights and questions as we dive deep into a story that showcases the splendor amid strife, wisdom alongside folly, and a nation's fate hanging in the balance. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any episodes of Bible as Literature and Conversation. Comment below to share your thoughts on today's episode. And join us next time as we continue to navigate through the rich tapestry of biblical history and its literature. Thank you for your keen participation, and we hope this series enriches your understanding and sparks meaningful discussion. Until then, keep the conversation going and may you find fresh perspective in every page you turn. From all of us at Hesed Adonai Foundation Inc. and the Hapag Salita program, thank you for watching.